hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again welcome 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 hope you guys are all doing well hope you're all doing great so today's video so today's video is gonna be about this bad boy right here fenty beauty bright fix concealer eye brightener illuminator contour that's what it says on it and i got mine in the shade almond butter you guys will see how i applied it you guys let me know what you think about the highlight so i used this concealer to brighten underneath my eyes and I, over it i used fenty beauty pro filler in shade honey to conceal to seal up the concealer so yeah you guys let me know what you think what you think about this makeup it kind of matches my outfit it wasn't planned i swear it wasn't planned but it actually does match my outfit so about this concealer let me see what it says they said this concealer is a instant I instantly hydrates brightens blurs light as air sheds to beautiful coverage that lasts hydrates illuminates i don't understand french okay they only said that one time needless to say this concealer is just basically to match the fenty is your foundation that dropped last month so you use the lightweight foundation and you also match it with the lightweight concealer so you can have a overall lightweight foundation routine basically that i guess that's the combo of the look but inside of it looks like this this is what the product looks like i just wanted to put the review out there is the concealer nice is lightweight which defeats i find it defeats the purpose of a concealer the concealer is meant to cover up and brighten all it just does is brighten it doesn't really cover up can you see that can you see that right there i see you i see you i see you we see each other i don't have much to say about this this concealer will i be using it frequently probably not because i really conceal much and for me i prefer to use it with a brush instead of a beauty blender beauty blender is just gonna suck the whole thing out you use a brush i'll strongly advise you to use a brush use a brush with a tinted moisturizer and the concealer and then just go in with your beauty blender and just blend it in that's what i would suggest you should do yeah that would be all so instead of just getting this concealer and reviewing on its own i also bought some other things from sephora just to add a little more volume to the video so the things that i got i first of all got this or beauty blender the original. So i also got the pro filter mini instant retouch setting powder and i got the shade honey i got the mini size i wanted to get the nutmeg in a mini size as well but they actually don't have the nutmeg in a mini size which is too bad um i also got the fenty gloss balm and i got the shade fenty glow and pink dragonfly yep and lastly i got this milk um hydro grip primer which i also will be trying so for the concealer this is the concealer this is the packaging very similar to the ease drop this retail for 33 canadian dollars plus tax what 30 dollars for concealer that is ridiculous that's absolutely madness i'm sure there's a foundation out there that costs 33 dollars this is for lightweight coverage yeah so this concealer yeah i'll put all the specs i'll do all the specs in the intro so this is the concealer guys and this is the back and i'm just gonna open it up and this is what the the tip looks like make sure you shake it before applying because you never know i'm gonna head to shake it and i'm just gonna apply it oh before i apply my concealer i'm gonna prime my face boo boo we need to prime that face so i'm just gonna apply the milk hydro grey primer all over my face I'm I actually like the smell, it's quite refreshing. I like the smell, it smells, you know, 
skincare like now i'm gonna go ahead and apply my fancy age drop blurry skin tooth foundation in the shade 21 i'm gonna put the link the card right above right here you guys want to see my review on this foundation So now I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Concealer in shade Almond Butter. And I'm gonna put that underneath. Oh, that's a lot. I don't know if I like this concealer. I feel like it applies. The application is not controllable, like it just pours out. And you can't really control the amount. I like the way it rubs, glides, but it's just weird. I don't like it because it's not like applying. You have to pour more out. This kind of stuff, you have to put it on your hand and apply with a brush, but I really don't have that. Stuff. I actually do not enjoy this application. I feel like it's wasting my time a whole lot. Wasting my precious time. Cause I have to like look at it and you know make sure I apply not too much because this concealer just blends in like skin So, for my powder, I will be using the Fenty powder in a mini size in Honey and I'll be using my Huda Beauty Translucent Loose Setting Powder in the shade Medium Deep. There's a difference. It's lighter. I'll be using the Honey under my eyes. I think I'm gonna like that because it's not too bright. It's like a good yellow. It is scented but I love the smell. And this is, it looks like a creamy yellow on the palette, but on my face, it looks super ashy, bro. What? Now I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Transl Translucent Powder and apply this to the rest of my face. That honey shade is very ghosty. Very ghosty. Why do I look ashy? Funny enough, after I sprayed my face, it looks it looks calmer. Like before, it looks super ashy. Here is the shade Pink Dragonfly, which is super cute, and we have um, Fenty Glow. And I'm gonna swatch both of them on my hand. Look, the reason why I bought this mini size, guys, I bought this Fenty Glow a while back and I can't find it. So I'm like, nah, I'm not buying a big size because it's expensive. I'm just gonna buy, oh, I like the pink one too. I'm gonna go for the pink one. This is what I'm gonna rock. And I'm gonna finish my eyes, come back, and you know. That's all for this video. You guys know the drill. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video and also share this video. I'd really appreciate it. And also, tell me what you think about the face. What do you think about my face? Did you like what the concealer did and the powder foundation? Let me know. Comments down below, guys. Comment down below. Let's interact. I like the interaction, okay? Uh, yeah. And yeah, you guys, make sure to stay protected, stay blessed, and make sure you stay safe. And see you in my next video.